You know, I get a lot of questions about jigs. What's your favorite jig? Well, that's kind of a loaded question because there's a lot of different jigs out there. I mean, a bunch of them, but I'm gonna go through the three that I use absolutely most often. Um, there's swim jig, a football jig, and a grass jig slash heavy cover jig. Um, the football jig is this. These are all nickels. This is a nickels football jig. Um, you can see the shape of the head is kind of like a football. Uh, basically what that's for is as this thing you it drags along the bottom that, that kind of makes the it makes it rock back and forth and it just imparts a lot of action because a football jig most of the time you're making a long cast in a deeper water and you're dragging it along the bottom so that elongated head horizontally makes it walk and when you put a trailer on the back which we're going to go over in a moment you put a trailer on the back it really gives it a lot of action when you're dragging it along the bottom. So that's the football jig. This is a Sabre swim jig from Nichols. This jig is meant for casting and just reeling back to the boat. Now, of course, you can impart a lot of action into it. So it's popping and hopping over brush, around under boat docks. Really popular to fish through shallow grass though. That's probably the most popular thing. There's a lot of different trailers you can put on the back of this. Um, this is a net bait little spanky, but there's a lot of different ones. So the other swim jig that Nichols makes, and this is one I find myself using a lot when I'm in Florida and really heavy cover. This is called the sledgehammer swim jig. And the difference is the hook. This one has a much, much bigger hook as far as the diameter of the wire of the hook. The sledgehammer has a much, much bigger hook. This one is, is the saber swim jig is much better for using with fluorocarbon or monofilament. If you're gonna use a swim jig with braided line, the nickel sledgehammer with the bigger hook, the braided line with no stretch is gonna allow you to be able to jam that hook home and you're in really heavy cover, really big fish. But both swim jigs are meant, just like their name implies, to be, uh, to be swim through the water. So, you know, mid column, you can reel it really fast and get them up on the top. Several different trailers in them and we'll go over that in just a second. And this is uh, the Nichols JT Kenny Signature Series grass jig. Um, you can see the pointed head, it goes through grass really, really well. You can also use it in other kinds of heavy cover, but it's, it's mainly designed for grass. Um, getting into the trailers, and we'll go back through each jig. This is the Paca Slim. And as, as you can see right here, a little bit different color. This is another color that I like to use uh, often with, with this Nichols Grass Wizard jig. Uh, this one's the Sun Gill. It just, just came out, it's a new color, and uh, it's been really, really popular, but I really like that. One of the reasons I really like it is that it's a solid bodied bait. And, and what I mean by that is that a lot of you that are used to uh, the Packa technology on the Packa Craw, which is a hollow bait, well, the, the Packa Slim is not hollow. As you can see, if this was a regular Packa Craw, you'd be looking into a big hollow cavity. This is solid, so when you thread this up on to the Nichols Grass Wizard jig, you got a lot, and of course the Nichols has that really good keeper on it, but you've got a lot of meat and you don't go through as many baits. And it stays on the hook really, really well. So that's why I like the, for when I'm using it as a trailer, I like the Paca Slim better than the, the regular Paca Craw for this, for this purpose. Um, now on the, the swim jigs, whether it's the Sabre swim jig, which is one we want to use with fluorocarbon or monofilament, or the sledgehammer swim jig, the one we want to use with braid, there's two different things you can do. One of them, there's actually three. One of them is, is a big spanky. It's a little swim bait. As you can see right here on the Sabre swim jig, we got the, the little spanky on the back. This is really good for making your bait run, depending on the head. Most of the time I'm using a 3 8 This is a 3 8 They make a half too if you wanna fish a little bit deeper. But this is a good, what I'll call mid-depth running trailer on your swim jig. Now, if I wanted to get this swim jig to run, say, a little bit deeper, here's one that most people don't know. I will take a net bait big bopper. This is our swim worm, but it's got a really, really slender body on it. I'll rip it about in half, 
and then I'll take the big bopper and take my swim jig and I will run this up on there as a trailer on my swim jig. Now what happens when you do this, you say, well, what's the difference in that? Well, I'm going to show you. When you get it rigged up on here, since this is a much thinner profile, I went just a little too far. Let me get it here. This is a much thinner profile. So when I get this rigged up on there like that, with it being a thinner profile than the, the little spanky is, see how it's a much thinner profile? There won't be as much resistance. There won't be as much drag on this. So it will swim. It will swim much better in the water. And it'll, and it'll get a lot deeper. So on the other way, if you're going to swim it really high, say you got really, really thick grass and you have a very small water column in which to, in which to fish your bait, you want to go the other way. Here's the trailer that I use. The net bait kick and be. Now this is a really, really broad trail. It's a great bait by itself, by the way, but it's a really, really broad. See how wide that is? And you know, in comparison to this, see the, 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 the absolute difference, same color, but absolute difference. So with this being really thick, I'll take this and, and see how it's, it's wider that way than it is this way. So I'll actually put it up on the jig. Now this is the, the sledgehammer swim jig but I'll rig it up on there and specifically I'm going to do it so it is flat like this so it's flat so that creates a big plane and now this will this jig will not sink very fast at all so I can reel it slow and all that resistance of that water on the bottom of that will keep this thing plus obviously the action of the tails all of that's a lot of resistance in the water so it'll ride very very high in the water column so that's the way the different trailers can affect your different jigs so that's a breakdown of the three jigs that i use all the time and the different trailers that you can use with them i hope that answers a lot of the questions you guys had about jig fishing